My name is Michael McCoss. I'm a professor here at the University of Washington in the Department of Genome Sciences, and our research is focused on the development of quantitative proteomics technologies. I'm very excited about the, uh, the Thermo Fisher uh, uh, TSQ Altus Plus release. Uh, our lab has always incorporated Thermo Fisher triple quad technologies in our quantitative proteomics workflows. So one of the things I've been very proud about of our lab's uh, uh, research efforts is the development of the software tool Skyline. This software tool has become the de facto standard for the development of targeted proteomics methods and also the analysis of the quantitative mass spectrometry data. Skyline will make it easy to transition existing methods um, on your existing platforms and even if you have discovery data on your orbit trap, uh, Eintrap instruments will be able to be extended over towards uh, the new TSQ Altus Plus. Our lab is obviously an academic research lab. Uh, we, we develop technologies predominantly for measuring uh, targeted proteomics. Uh, and we find that, that uh, the Thermo Fisher triple quadrupole platform has been ideal for anybody interested in making a targeted proteomics assay, regardless of the, the industry that you're working in. Uh, we've worked closely with those in, in the pharmaceutical industry, in government labs, uh, and also in CROs in helping uh, implement our workflows in, into their labs. Um, we also uh, work closely with uh, those uh, in the clinical chemistry community uh, and, and have found that people have been able to extend these methods uh, even to, to clinical applications. So when assays uh, transition from a one-off discovery experiment to something that you want to measure, a select number of analytes over many samples, it's hard to beat the price per performance uh, a ratio of a, a triple quadruple mass spectrometer. You need to be able to have an instrument that will run uh, robustly and give precise measurement over a large linear quantitative range for a very large number of samples that are measured often over days and weeks of time. And uh, we're particularly uh, uh, impressed by what we've seen as preliminary data as far as the stability and robustness of the TSQ Altus Plus. The, the TSQ Altus Plus uh, incorporates uh, state-of-the-art quadruple technologies uh, that should uh, improve the robustness and reduce the dependency on having to recalibrate uh, the mass of the quadrupole uh, over very long experiments. So when we make highly multiplex assays, uh, we often need to make really complex scheduled uh, mass spectrometry runs. Uh, these scheduling allow us to choose which transitions are measured at a very short po point in time. Uh, and this often means when the more transitions that we measure, we have to be able to have high sensitivity even for a low dwell time. The latest instrumentation uh, will improve the sensitivity and allow this mass accuracy robustness to be measured over many days and a long period of time for the experiments. You need to be able to have an instrument that will run uh, robustly and give precise measurement over a large linear quantitative range for a very large number of samples that are measured often over days and weeks of time. The ability to prioritize dwell times will allow us to have a, a lower dwell time or a lower an, uh, amount of time spent on a high abundance analyte while increasing the amount of time spent on a low abundance analyte, which will increase the dynamic range and enable us to be able to measure uh, analytes that have huge differences in dynamic range in a complex matrix.